Welcome back to my channel guys. It's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. I also run a blog called Coco Styles NY where I talk about fashion and how to style certain things. So in today's video I'm going to show you ladies 10 things. Well I'm going to give you ladies 10 things that every stylish woman should own. And I'm just going to jump right into it. Number one would be a great handbag. Now ladies I'm not saying go buy a Chanel bag. I'm not saying you need to purchase a YSL bag, but I'm just saying get you a great quality leather bag, black. I would say get, I love red. Red is a pretty color, so your pop of color, and maybe like a neutral color. Um, find a brand that sells really good leather bags. It does not have to be designer. If you want structure, then I would say go for a structured bag. If you don't like structure, then go for one that's more of a loose leather. But with that being said, have a great handbag. That is number one. Number two would be a perfect pair of jeans. Now, I don't know about you guys, but for me, I am six feet, so finding jeans is very difficult, but it's not impossible. Finding a great pair of jeans and keeping it in your wardrobe is a must. Now, I would say when it comes to denim, you wanna spend a little bit of money on your denim so it can last you, and so you don't have to replace it over and over and over. So for me, us tall women, I do like Levi jeans because they are long, they come long. Go to the outlet because you can find a deal, guys. <laughs> so also, I would say the Gap. The Gap also, they're denim, denim jeans, not the stretch jeans. Stretch jeans are a little bit different because you have to worry about when you're washing them and the whatever it's made of, the little rubber and rubber, whatever inside, it can cause the pants to start stretching and not fit. So if you find you a good pair of, I guess, classic denim jeans, you should be good. So Levi, I think, I wanna say a Goldie but they don't fit us properly. But for any woman who's probably 5'8 and 5'9, you should be able to wear those pants too. So that is number two, a great pair of jeans. Number three would be a great pair of shoes. Okay, now invest in your shoes, ladies. I'm gonna say it, invest in your shoes. And the reason why I'm saying that is because you have to think about the wear and tear of you walking, the heel, the comfort, all those things. So Jimmy Choo, I like Jimmy Choo because they are comfortable. They have decent size heel height. I like um, Kenneth Cole. Kenneth Cole has comfortable shoes. And I like, I actually like Rebecca Minkoff. She has nice shoes and they're different and they're comfortable. So if you are a person who likes Christian Louboutins and you find that they're comfortable, then by all means, get them. But if they're not, do not waste your money, ladies. Don't do that. So that is number three, having a great pair of shoes. Number four would be great t-shirts. Great t-shirts in your closet uh, because those are a part of your essentials. And find a great t-shirt. I did a video on it recently with a list of places where you can buy them from. So invest in your t-shirts because that also can make your outfit, guys. A great t-shirt, great pair of pants, and you're golden, guys. So that is number four, a great t-shirt. Number five will be sunglasses. I have so many sunglasses, and I kind of geared towards the same ones. I'm not even sure why, but having a great pair of shades would set you up for success, guys. So what I mean by that is you can, I'm not saying that you can't buy a cheaper brand, um, because personally, all these shades are made from the same plastic. <laughs> they just plop the name on it, okay? So just find a pair that you really like that you would wear all the time. I would say get a black pair and a brownish color. Um, that way you can cover all bases. And also you might wanna add a pair of aviators in there if your other two are just completely, I guess you can say like diva-ish. So get a pair of aviators because they're a little bit more chill for your chill, chill days. So that's number five, a great pair of sunglasses. Number six would be a blazer. Classic blazer, guys. So for you tall ladies, uh, I know we struggle with blazers also, but there are brands that have longer sleeves. A good tip is to make sure you are definitely 
reading if you're shopping online read the description see how long the sleeves are uh, for me I should wear anything between a 22 and a 23 anything shorter than that it's gonna be short I have on this Adidas jacket today and it's pretty long it comes past and this is I think a medium and this is a woman's jacket so it, it came down long I have some other sweaters I'm sorry blazers that hit me close and with those what you can do is you can get pieces added on to it like that's what we have to do as tall women we have to adjust <laughs> some of our stuff just so it can fit us properly so that's number six a great blazer number seven would be a signature piece for your outerwear uh, I would recommend every woman having a trench coat if it's leather, if it's the standard Burberry coat, um, if it's black, if it's tan, have a, a wool, have a statement jacket that you can throw on with some pumps, with some boots that could actually set your outfit up without even being super dressed up under. I'm from New York, so we definitely always have on wool coats and leather coats with belts, things like that. So having a great jacket, outerwear piece is also a great statement for stylish women. So that is number seven, statement jackets. Number eight would be a cocktail dress. Every woman, every stylish woman, and every woman should have a cocktail dress in their wardrobe. And that is because you never know when you're gonna get invited to an event where you need a dress. So it's the same thing like having a little black dress. Having a cocktail dress is a must. Um, Put it in your closet. You don't know when you're gonna wear it, but you're definitely gonna need it, guys. Um, that will go along with your great pair of shoes. So that is number eight, a cocktail dress. Number nine would be a great makeup routine. Now, I'm not saying you have to be full face every day. You do not, because you, know, you need to let your skin breathe. But I will say, have some basic skincare uh, have some basic makeup that you would like to use daily that is lightweight uh, and that that way you're not like out there bare face completely which is nothing wrong with it but you still want something that'll give you a little bit of a good finish and maybe it's just a powder or a tinting moisturizer tinted moisturizer something like that have your eyebrows done maybe some lashes if you like that if you don't just some good good mascara so that is number nine having a great makeup routine and number 10 would be great accessories ladies listen listen to me accessories can make or break your outfit if you do not like a lot of accessories you can definitely buy dainty stuff um, I'm pretty tall, so I always gear towards bigger things. I just think it looks better on me. But if that's not your thing, you can definitely go for dainty earrings. You can go for dainty necklaces and rings. You can have a statement watch on, but accessories are a must in your wardrobe, ladies. So get on your job and buy you some accessories, guys. So those are my 10 top things that every stylish woman should have. And if you don't have them, ladies, start to pick them up. And I will say this. You don't have to buy the most expensive things, but you want to get great quality. So you're not rebuying these things over and over and over, guys. That is the key to this. You do not want to keep shopping and rebuying every single thing over because it's not good quality. So if you stay to the end of this video, please comment below. Coco, we see you. And if you like videos like this, please comment below. And please don't forget to follow me on Instagram at CocoStylesNY. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.